What it is, homies? Make floor pants all up in this hizzy. Back at you again with day five of the Art Quest Inktober phase. Uh, the prompt for this one was flame. And while I was thinking about doing this before I actually started the drawing, it's like, oh, I'm just gonna do a sexy fire lady. And then I thought, no, I just did a sexy lady. I, I can't only do sexy ladies. Let's do something that's not a sexy lady. And so I was like, what if I just made a sexy fireball? And that's what I <laughs> went with, a sexy fireball, but I, it couldn't just be a fireball. It had to have some, another layer to it. And so um, as I'm working on this fireball, uh, I was like, oh, how can I improve it? And you saw at the beginning, um, I was like, oh, I could do a hand holding it, right? So that's what I ended up doing. I'm working on this fireball. I wanted to establish the fireball first, uh, and then I knew I was gonna do the hand afterward. And again, gigantic advantage of digital art is being able to paint out of order. Um, and so uh, I established my light source, which is the fireball, nice and easy. And so I start painting the hand underneath it on a separate layer. And I, like, yeah, I didn't like where it was placed, so I moved it down. And um, I'm doing another charcoal drawing, I guess you'd call this. I'm, I'm drawing this like you would a charcoal drawing. And uh, here I am trying to get the angle right. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in all the fingers, trying to get the trying to get the lighting right. And I don't really think I get it 100% right in this. Uh, I really messed up that pinky. That pinky was awful. So I just erased it and decided to repaint it and um, uh, I, I just in general need more practice with all of the things that are hard which are hands uh, and proportions and uh, lighting and color for me I just I I have avoided them my entire art life and I just need more practice so a big part of this art quest is getting better at those things and so I wanted to be like oh I should practice a hand I should do a drawing that features a hand pretty prominently but not so prominently that I need to get it 100% perfect because I, I, I did want to have a product that I would be proud of at the end of this one uh, especially since the last two I just I couldn't complete I wanted something that I could do quickly and I'm pretty quick with charcoal drawings I uh, just I, I fucking just laid on thick with the white and blacks and smear everything until it makes the shape that I want. And uh, that's how I did it in real life as well when I was practicing. And so there's the, there's the double fireball. Now, I was really trying to make this look like a butt and it just really wasn't reading as a butt. So I decided to add some little legs and it took me forever, forever just reiterating these legs in order to get it right. Here I am trying to get the flames right as well. I. The flame part, they're not realistic. It's not realistic flames, but it's the flame in someone's hand, so I guess the justification is that they're magic flames, and that's why they don't look quite right, because they're not real, they're magic. And magic isn't real, so it doesn't have to look real, right? Well, no, I, I, I don't actually agree with that, but I was, that was just like, eh, I'm just gonna keep doing this until I'm happy with the final product, essentially. And uh, here I am just adding some more layering, some more smoke, some more like little wisps of fire. And then I was like, oh yeah, I need to add the other leg. So I'm quickly adding the other leg, uh, adding some more fire, adding some highlighting, um, some shadows. Cause there is shadow, well not shadow, but there are darker parts of flames. Uh, and you can really study them and get into what parts of the flames cool off faster, what parts will be darker color or less tone. Uh, I didn't do that for this. Um, I'm not doing any real research for these Inktober drawings. I think once we get past this first initial phase of me just getting in the habit of drawing more, um, uh, then I can move on to more advanced drawings where I put a lot more effort into it. Here I wanted to really establish that it is glowing, so I uh, erased some of the background a little bit to add a bit of a glow effect that worked really well in my opinion. And here I am looking at it, trying to see if there's anything more I can do to it without making it worse. And um, yeah, I just 
stared at it for a while, but I ultimately concluded that it was done. So here's the final product. I'm actually pretty proud of how this turned out. Uh, I like charcoal drawings, I like doing them, but I much prefer the more comic booky manga style of art, and that's what I want my art to look like. Mostly because there are a few comics that I want to have published. Now, would I draw them all? I don't know, probably not, but I want to at least come up with the initial designs of the characters and draw those if I were to hire an artist uh, for these comics. But that's many years in the future for me. And with that, I will conclude this episode of the Art Quest Inktober Day 5. Make Flubber Pants is over and out of this hizzy.